Hi, welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Walter, and today we're at the Big Hall National Battlefield. Uh, this is a memorial to the people who fought and died here in 1877. Big Hole commemorates the five-month Nez Perce War. Like other Indian wars in the late 1800s, this war involved two groups with very different outlooks on land rights, civilian authority, and government powers. Uh, many people were killed with more wounded. It's an example of human price paid for Western expansion. So. Essentially we, killed off. Essentially, we killed off the Indians and yeah. put them all into reservations and the uh, Europeans, Americans, took their land. Yeah, they reduced the size of their land by 90% and moved them into a, probably the worst 10% of the land available. That's what they typically did to my people. So, and thank your you. People? Who are my you? people are the Iroquois. They were from the eastern part of the U.S., Pennsylvania, New York area. But there's still an affinity to other Indian tribes all across the country. So, thank you very much. Have a good day. Do you trust me? Yes. Just do it down. One, one down. One down. Don't do it. There you go. Okay, you're happy? Happy. Of course I'm happy. Here we are at Granite Peak RV Resort, formerly known as Jellystone in Missoula, Montana. I guess the owners of this park, or they got bought out, realized that children aren't really money makers. In fact, I didn't stay here the first time, and I stayed at Jim and Mary's down the street, across the street, only because this was a Jellystone Park and I didn't want to be around children. And a lot of people, I know a lot of RVers, avoided Jellystone because of the children factor. So it looks like whoever bought this or the current owners finally realized that children are not the money makers. They're doing upgrades out in the perimeter of the park and also at the actual park, park itself. They're expanding and they're renovating the grass areas, which is nice, and they're renovating the poles over here. Anyway, we are here at Site 16. Site 16. As you can see, it's, amp it's room enough for Aries and Wanda to be in this space. We have 50 amp good connection and also more importantly the wi-fi is excellent we can download we can upload let's see amazon hulu youtube britbox and acorn now netflix is touchy feely only because they are in 4k format which is so stupid why they're not in 2k or 1080 ADP and they're in 5k yeah. we can't download Netflix it's ridiculous anyway here's our setup 50 amps water water in water out the only thing that I don't care for is the sewer is in the back of the RV space so we have one pipe that I've extended pretty much to its maximum and we can probably go another feet out but didn't want to do that okay if you're seeing leaking water it's because I'm doing a black water flush and I have done an episode on that so I'll put a link in the bottom 28. Okay, we're almost there. So we're going to walk around and see where everyone else is. It's only 4 o'clock. Everyone should be straggling in any moment. So we'll walk around the park later. So, as far as lengthwise, it's good. It's not too level though. We did have to put one level down and front back we're down all the way here 
as you can see it's pretty it's pretty low and it's higher in the uh, low in the other end but right now the temperature is nice and there are no bugs flying around here so I do like Missoula and I think we're here for two or three nights I'm not really sure how long we're here for oh got the flamingos out Granite Peak RV Resort formerly known as Jellystone Park here in Missoula and I'm beginning to like this park more and more so everything is a pull through here and everything is 50 amps I have not seen any 30 amp sites yet everything is is 50 wow this is great Hello. Other than this, this last row, which has very little grass space, all the other ones have really nice grass space. So would we stay at this park again? I would say yes. Well, they're not pulled through over here. That one looks skinnier. No, that's 50 and also. But these aren't pull throughs now. Look at these are all back ends. Okay, the last row I guess is supposed to be meant as a back end. That's 50 amps. Oh, 30! Oh, why is it so wide? Those are wider. Oh, those are wider. Okay. Okay, maybe these are only 30 in the back ends. The tiny back ends. I think you're having water problems. Oh, no. yeah. We're a swamp. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. Between between the I'm getting used to between this. the no ampage yeah, and no electric. No sewer. No sewer. And now we're swamp and, land. And now you're swamp land. Mm -hmm. You have a swamp. I got a bath, dude. <laughs> Three baths out of the deal. And some ice cream. Oh, okay. We're getting that tonight. You're getting you more ice cream. Stuff. You're and getting I, another gallon. Are they? Are you giving him a gallon? I hope you give him a gallon of ice cream. We just have pints. Pints. Okay, yeah. we'll give him four pints. There you go. That's a gallon. Down. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear we hit a deer on the way too? You hit a deer. A deer. Our freaking day is not going well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I should turn When we first drove from the highway over there, Walter saw this and said, Oh shit, are we doing dry camping? <laughs> okay, here we are at the site where they went poop and they verified it. So, well, we're going go, well, to go to the poop site. <laughs> Yes, that is. <laughs> <laughs> hold your hand, everyone, hold hands. <laughs> Just 
stories of picture if you get these houses in here. Yeah. The trailers? They're not even houses, Mark. <laughs> Are we here? Are we here at the shit place? Each is in carbon. You can do the same with lead. In fact, lead is a bigger atom. Love your shirt. <laughs> Does it ever run out of juice? No. Well, good. Oh, good. Where do I buy your hat? Uh oh. Oh, here. Where did I buy my hat? Oh, his hat. His hat. Okay. Uh, well, you were looking at me, and I thought, well. <laughs> Well, there, you like there, are, <laughs> there are several historic um, uh, reproduction sites on the, on the internet. On the internet. Okay, what uh, is it called? Smoke and Fire. There's uh, Samson Historical. There, uh, this particular hat I think I got from Smoke and Fire. Okay. Um, what is it called though? Just oh, this is a, what well, they call they call it a round hat. Round hat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it replaced the tricorns. You know, Are you brother. bartering to trade hats with them? <laughs> <laughs> it's called a round hat. Yeah. Now I can go find it. But it, it's a neat hat. Though. You know, it is. J I want it. <laughs> J.A.S. Townsend is uh -huh. another really good uh, source for haberdasheries. Uh, okay. Yeah, for 18th century and early 19th century clothing. Okay. And, and that. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, Alive. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. I'm immortalizing everyone. <laughs> okay, we're walking down the streets of downtown Missoula. Missoula, right across the street from the courthouse. That there's beautiful. The, there's the courthouse. Beautiful courthouse. I'm sure they never do anything bad to people. It's such a beautiful building. And we are going out to lunch. I didn't even call if they were open. We're going to, okay, this got, this has over eight stars in four squares. Sada, Sawadi. I don't even know what street it's on. Anyway, four squares, just put in, high and they should come up it's got over eight stars rating of eight so hopefully it's good
but it's a la carte style as you saw and I got the curry and I don't know what else I got peanut curry uh, teriyaki chicken and you had peanut mein. curry lo mein and, I don't know what and whatever is. else that is but it it's looks got delicious long beans, long beans. Oh, you got a dead mosquito. Bee. Only pay after you eat if you're happy. If you're not happy, don't pay. Very nice of her. I'm sure we'll be happy. The curry is delicious. The curry is good. Probably a three out of five. Oh, 
that's delicious too. No wonder this restaurant has such good ratings. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a good rating too. I'll have to, we'll sit here at the end, I'll give it a good rating on, on mine. I haven't been using Yelp. No. Because they let me down when I was a Yelp rookie. So you use Foursquare, and I'll do it on Yelp. We'll both give them good ratings. <coughs>
No tubing, so you can just pee on yourself while you're going down the creek. You don't have to worry about it, huh? In there. <laughs> In there. Well, when you're on diuretics. And you have the right plumbing, it's okay. This is pretty. Quiet and peaceful. I think the birds trick is a lot of bubbling. Yeah, I know. That's all I want to do is enjoy it. <laughs> I don't see any fishies. No. And the last campsite, the guys were fishing. Uh, 